Close the story with the reading for the collective. See what resonates throughout the rest. Maybe this message finds everyone well. Watch out for scammers in the comment section soliciting you for readings. That is not me. Okay. Uh, you can see if it's me by, it'll say Australia 5D, and then it'll be white around the, the handle. The fake ones don't have that. So on my channel or anyone's channel, because yeah. All right. So um, I heard my hands are tied. I don't know what that's about. My hands are tied. Six of Wands. Ace of Wands. This has to do with someone's accolades. Victory after battle. Uh, being... Being celebrated for something. This has to do with a very, like, passionate energy, an idea, consciousness, awareness. My hands are tied, so strength in the challenge position. Somebody's feeling like powerless because of someone's accolades or victory. Someone wants some sort of victory or... Huh, okay, and this could be someone's ego out of control, like someone's ego's hurt from someone maybe is going to receive something. Empress in the subconscious. Ace of Swords in the recent past, someone has been not telling the truth, or there's been some confusion, lack of clarity in the recent past. I feel like this wants to come out. Page of Cups, some sort of like innocent communication, uh, reflection, uh, apology, young person. That's what uh, uh, someone wants to maybe communicate something nicely to someone, or this could be a sweet message or something like that. That's the intention. Near future, seven of wands reverse. Someone can't um, defend themselves. They're they can't persevere. They're they they feel vulnerable. This wants to come out. I feel like page of swords. Someone's looking or watching something or talking about something. Um, in the environment, we have Five of Cups. Someone seems to like really be feeling a lot of loss or grief or regret, depression, sadness about something. This could be the mood of a group as well. High Priestess of Justice and Hopes and Fears. So karma playing out for someone who is very uh, intuitive and uh, has access to arcane knowledge, but probably doesn't talk about it. Maybe more on the quieter end. So a High Priestess in the Upright, probably very spiritual and independent feminine energy, justice, karma playing out for this person. That's what someone's fear is or someone's hope is. Outcome. Four of swords and 10 of swords. So it's almost like whoever's inquiring about something is going to Ten of Swords and Four of Swords. That's like hitting rock bottom and not being able to get up or something. That's a betrayal, a painful ending. Ten Swords in someone's back could feel very dramatic. 
This could be someone's health as well. This just feels like down and out for a long time. Wow. It feels like when I heard my hands are tight, it's almost like someone is talking to someone about someone else's being recognized for something that they're inspired by and someone has a problem with it because their ego is being like their ego they can't take it or they think this person is going to have an ego but it's like someone's going to say something nice to someone or something good or something like that and then whoever this is, is going to make them feel very vulnerable. And then they're really worried about this person because it's like karma is playing out for them for something this person has done by trying to. There's just been a lot of untruths or something. Whoever this is, maybe, maybe they're talking to someone who's in a position of power or has some, some sort of control over a situation or this person thinks that they do and they're, they're coming across like they're really sad because someone else, something good's gonna happen for someone. But it seems like it's the justice is accurate, but it seems like they care more about their ego and their feelings than something um, happening for someone that is fair and then it seems like it must happen or because this person the way that they're thinking or what they're doing is like it just feels so off kilter for someone to try to ask someone to stop something here for someone and then and then they feel like they need to defend themselves from someone else achieving something that's fair or being recognized in a fair way, it makes this person feel like they're being hurt by something happening fair for someone. And then it must continue because in the outcome, they're very upset or they're very, it's like they've hit rock bottom because something fair happened to someone. Eight of Swords reverse, someone's becoming unstuck from a situation, un unbound or this is a self-imposed limitation that someone finds themselves in because maybe whatever's happening for this person uh, doesn't have really anything to do with this person so that's why it's a self-imposed limitation because they don't need to be upset about what's going on with someone else but let's keep going and see um, what we can clarify what's going on here I really feel like someone's asking for someone else to stop something for someone. Yeah, hanged man, the high priestess. Someone's trying to ask this high priestess. They want them to be stuck. And they're like, it's, it's like they're sad. It's, it's a very um, strange set of circumstances that someone's like, they could even be crying or just coming across as very upset that their lies are not being believed about this person but it's not that they're lie that they lied. It's that now, now the lies are over. So this person's upset. They don't want anything nice to be said to this person. It's and they feel like this person is this like very whole, wholesome and whole person, very much in the upright in their subconscious. So they really feel like their own assessment of this person is that they're a good person that is very well-rounded. 
but somehow they feel like I'm trying to articulate the impetus behind this action and these feelings, which is like, convincing others that it makes them sad if this person, if good things happen, if, if things are just, and therefore they need to stop this person because it makes them feel uncomfortable or unhappy. That's what they're saying to someone and their answer back is my hands are tied. Page of Swords reverse, it's like gossiping and spying. Wow, I'm not sure if I shuffled these. Something about an opportunity, watching someone's opportunity or investment, investment in something. It's like, um, it's got the energy of someone like pouting, like someone pouting in a, in a, in a way that's like, that like a cute toddler would do only this is an adult. It's an adult. Maybe, um, somehow that worked in the past. I don't know why people would, maybe they felt charmed by this person, but maybe because of this confusion is why now, now they, maybe they felt something of, you know, this person was deserving of, of being ostracized or blocked. But now that they know none of that's true, the only thing left is to say, because it makes me unhappy if this person is treated fairly. I don't like that justice is playing out for this person. You have to stop it because it hurts my feelings. And that's just weird to me that someone would come from that. King of Wands. There's a King of Wands here in the upright. This is a successful visionary. This person is a leader with a lot of courage. I feel like that's who's being talked to. Strength. Judgment. Whoever's talking to them, there's some sort of awakening. This person, this, this, a reckoning, a reckoning, reckoning in regards to this person's ego. And maybe they were in a position where they could like get something like this done by making a re request, but now it's just coming across like, um, just how I explained it. It's like someone who's like very, very um, privileged and is really mean to uh, like, let's say like a butler for like 15 years straight and then they lose all of their money and the butler's on the way out because they haven't been paid and they're leaving now. And then the person is mean to the butler again, but needs a favor and asks them, uh, you know, do you have the extra set of keys because I can't get into my place anymore? And, and, but they say it in a real foul way and the butler is not on payroll anymore and they've been used and abused. And this person, uh, is still coming at them from, a place of entitlement, but there's been a reckoning, reckoning for the behavior. It's kind of like that. Uh, 
I don't know if that analogy helps at all. <laughs> but it's, it's got like, I'm trying, it's like the energy I can feel. It's an energy I can feel, so I'm trying to help articulate it. I feel like that you kind of get that. So, the Empress, King of Cups. I feel like there's a masculine energy or someone who feels like they want to support this person, this feminine, this divine feminine. It's a divine feminine. It's a feminine energy. It's just very well-rounded that there's been some like corruption or untruths here. Now there's a reckoning and it's very clear that there's a reckoning. The judgment is here for this person who's made this request about someone. And this person is feeling like they're going to get support in their subconscious and that there's someone else who is also behind this ace of swords. They feel like, yeah, they feel like there's more than one masculine energy who's not on their side, but they can't bring themselves to believe it or think about it. Fool in reverse is clarifying Ace of Swords in reverse, so they might have been telling lies up until the very last minute here, and now it just comes across as very reckless, and because I feel like with this judgment here in the challenge position for this person, they need to deal with a self-assessment and some atonement for doing something here to an empress in the upright that's also a high priestess that karma is playing out. People can see it or feel it in their own lives or somehow, um, you know, people's like intuition is firing off. Um, and like I say in my other readings, just if someone's a tarot reader or a light worker, those aren't the only people that have like strong intuition and so they could be seeing a series of events or they could just be like having a really strong feeling about something or not like what has happened and now they're in a position where they don't have to participate because maybe this p person's like ego or there was they were placed in a position where they were able to call these types of shots now they're, they're not, but they're still trying. And so someone's saying, my hands are tied because their hands are tied. It would be ridiculous. They can't do whatever this person's asking because they're, the situation has changed. And also they don't want to, they're in the upright. Page of Cups. Something about someone who's very sweet and perseverant. Someone's overcoming something. A struggle. So if someone feels like they're struggling with someone's sweetness, or they feel like they have to come across this with another energy. That's what I was saying with like this pouting thing, that they've got to turn on the charm with like an innocence or a something like that it's like a game it's a facade it's a mask um, in the near future the world reversed they don't want the cycle to end whatever it was that they were doing position they were in it's like they can't there is a sense of failure a missed opportunity and they can't persevere or they they don't have the same protection they had before when they were able to looks like stand on someone's neck here page of swords they're watching or spying or talking or they're talking about someone's recovery or someone's optimism or No, they could be trying to ask for someone's forgiveness for something. There could be other people involved here where they are trying to uh, appease someone, not just about blocking someone else, but about like someone else. It's, it's, it's like someone else here is moving forward. 
who was connected to this person potentially who stands to gain something they're in the upright they just want to stay in the upright something good could be happening for this king of wands as well king of wands could be masculine um energy but in the female form like could be male or female um five of cups there could be someone else here that's just kind of quiet and not really uh, very responsive because they're coming across as if they're depressed. No, it's this person. It's this person. It's a queen of cups in reverse. Coming across as very insecure and neglectful, codependent. Yeah. Pouting. Pouting and upset that they can't get their way in trying to block someone. Now that, that people know that someone was telling reckless lies, it's just, it's coming across as like almost absurd or something like that. I feel like there's some energy here that feels like a sense of like relief that this person, like everything had to unfold in a certain way. Maybe this King of Wands knew something, couldn't, couldn't act on it though at the time. But this person has some type of ability to get some expansion. This is a visionary. This is a, a leader, a powerful leader. That this, this Queen of Cups in the reverse is trying to appease. But this person would rather lean on the side of justice than not. Uh, justice for this High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles, the blessings coming, an offer, an opportunity. It's beautiful. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. Temperance feels like angelic help, healing, like a, a total balance here. Um, serenity, a combination of forces, a realization a greater realization external it feels like about a whole situation healing happening for more than one person yeah um temperance yeah synergy a synergy a universal synergy with a blessing for others for more than one and coming from this place of like this insecurity by the synergy it's like the universe is they can't defend themselves from justice and they can't defend themselves from healing. They want things to be the way it was. And this is going to bottom them out to the point where they can't recover. I don't, I just, the outcome is here. I'm not, I'm not wishing that on someone. I'm just saying 10 of swords and four of swords feels like down for the count for a while. And um, bottom of the deck, something about a long-term commitment to someone this could be business or romance, but this is about someone being very, very conservative, uh, methodical and dependable and responsible about a situation that has to do with an empress energy. That's interesting. If you resonate with this message, I hope it helps and I'll see you on the next read. Bye.